darling. I don't know where to start. I really don't because when I think of you, my heart becomes a sunflower. You know, but when I see you, it's just doing backflips because that is just who you are to me and that is what you do to my inner oh, sense. God. No. You're going to start, you know, I'm going to start no, crying. No, no, but the point of it is just having you here mm -hmm. um, and for me to be able to just welcome you to Full Circle is, it. you don't understand. I, mm -hmm. oh, firstly, I guess I have an excuse because English is my 12th language, so I've run out of English words, but it is super super fantastic so welcome well thank you so much so I'm why are getting... you crying already no i'm happy i'm i'm, I'm happy because um it's not every day that we have a journey with people who mirror but who also bring out the best in us that's really really why we have relationships it's really about being with people who bring out the best in you. And you do that you, from a support, from a support, from an admiration. But really, you know, Toni Morrison talks about how when children walk into a room, all they want is for someone's eyes to light up. And you are one of those people, you know, who, because the journey is tough. It's lonely, it's long, and it's hard. So yes, you, um, your eyes light up for me. You carry my torch, and you are really one of my support, my, my cheerleaders, and you know, one of them. So yes, I'm emotional, it's understandable, but I'm also happy. And I, and I, I'm super happy to you. Uh, so when I tell people about our ritual, which we will get to in a minute, they don't believe it because everyone goes, you guys are such fine women. How would you? I'm like, it's fine. That ritual will come. So my friend, um, you're my friend first, and I celebrate you every day. And I celebrate you even in moments when you think it's embarrassing to you. Because I always say to people, this is Kali Swam. She's a filmmaker, she's fierce, she's an amazing storyteller, and she's a double BAFTA winner. Can you pay attention? In fact, before you pay attention, can you bow? Why? No, because these things are important to me. You know how you compel me to acknowledge my own gifts and what I bring to the world? My joy every day is getting you to that place too, where you can acknowledge your own gifts and go, yes, of course. So even before I say, and give you time to just tell the world who you are, because I know you're fabulous to me. Tell me, by completing this sentence, Koliswa is dot, dot, dot. And you can either complete that sentence or you can just give me the three words that you would use to best describe yourself. Fabulous should be one, but I won't feed you. <laughs> um... I actually don't know how I would describe myself. I think I'd describe myself as beautiful. Awesome. Because beautiful is my favorite word. And, um, but the people who say the word best are Ethiopians. Mm -hmm. they, when you are beautiful, they say batam konjo. Batam konjo. Yeah, and in, in Addis, someone yeah. gave me a name and it's called konjit. Conjit. The beautiful one. Oh. So I think, and then, you know, Italians say bellissimo. Yes. French say tu et tu tu belle. Um, and the Zoom Zimbabweans. Mkhle, mkhle, man, mkhle. <laughs> and then Zimbabweans say kunaka. Kunaka, yes. beautiful. Um, I'm Tenjiwe's mom. That's, uh, that's an extension of myself simply because um, she, she teaches me. Okay. She chose me to teach me and to humble me. Okay. And I guess the third word to describe myself is uh, I live between planes. I live between earth 
the dream world and the spirit world. So I think, you know, I, I, I inhabit, um, I inhabit quite a few spaces. And where does your, your creativity fit in those three words, in those three universes? Because there is the, and what's wonderful, by the way, before we lose track of it, it is so refreshing in a culture such as we have, right, to have you enunciate the I am beautiful, right? Because for a million people, it is an incredibly tinged term, right? Because many people rush to the superficial. They rush to what do I see, not who do I experience, yeah? So you have said beautiful, you have said tenji res mum, you have said the one who is in between. There's this, there's this transitory nature to your being because you are borrowing from these places that are firm and unfirmed. So tell me how your, your filmmaking and your storytelling and your creativity flows between those three words. Or is it the golden thread that No, no one has asked me this. No one has ever um, gone that deep. No one has ever asked me this. But I think that, or I believe that, what I do comes from a, from a deep wound and a deep space of wanting to share what it is that I see with the world and wanting the world to feel what I feel. And at the same time, knowing that what it is I have or what it is that I have been given, because when I create something often, it's from a space of, I just wake up, I want to do this. I want to tell this. Um, often I feel I'm guided. Um, I can't explain it. And it's one of those things that I feel like it's a gift that I've been given and it's a gift that can be taken away if I abuse that. And by abusing that is that when I truly embark on something that I feel strongly about, my spirit, my heart, and my mind should be in alignment, you know, before I embark on that journey. And so once or twice I've done something for money and it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster in terms of my own sense of self and in terms of I can't even tell you what I did with the money. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And you would think that one of the jobs I was working for, a world famous, 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 famous somebody. Yeah. And I did it. I enjoyed certain aspects of the process. But I remember telling myself, I'm getting my 12 pieces of silver. And the funny thing is that my name doesn't even appear on those final credits. And so that was the trade-off. You know, so uh, where do I, I've never been asked that. And to be quite honest, all I can tell you is that often, most often, I am guided and I do what I have to do and it goes out into the world. Sometimes I'm hired to do something, yeah. and if it speaks to me, I will do it. But now, at my age, if it doesn't speak to me, I don't do it. 